In this video, we take Allie's Sport Fisher out for a little bit of fishing, and then we raise the spinnaker as we continue sailing up Long Island Sound. This season of Sailing Doodles features Bobby, Allie, and Megan as we sail the Northeast in our 1989 CT56. This channel is made possible by our patrons. Thank you so much. In the previous video, we sailed through New York City and up into Long Island Sound to Northport, where Allie keeps her 32-foot Lores Sport Fisher. So we are headed ashore, go meet up with Allie. She's been kind of doing some shopping and work. Get some lunch. Yeah. And then we're gonna go fishing later. Yeah, we are. We're gonna catch all the fish. All right, let's do it. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Let's make like Tom and Cruz. It really was nice having that brand new high field dinghy. Lunch and shopping, so uh, Allie's dad is gonna come pick us up and take us to the grocery store. The sweetest man. Yeah, it should be a nice little day. And then uh, around 3.30, uh, we're gonna go back to Allie's sport fisher and we're gonna go fishing. Yeah. What, do you know what kind of fish are likely to catch out here? Uh, I, yeah, Ouch. muskrat uh, bass. That's not real. I know. <laughs> I Sounds know, not, good. I'm not a fisher. Sounds delicious. I'm not, I'm not a fisher person. You don't, don't ask me. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> Go to sailingdoodles.com. Get yeah. your swag. They're very nice. There she is. Hey, pretty lady. How was the workout? All right. They're taking the launch. We're going to take the dinghy It's a beautiful over. boat. Yeah. We are headed over to Usonia, which is Allie's boat, and we're gonna go fishing. Yay! You wanna beat them there? It's a race. All right, what are we fishing for today? Well, we're gonna hopefully try to put some bluefish. Okay. Word on the street is there's not a hell of a lot around. Okay. But I was told where to go and what to fish and how to fish it, so. Are we trawling, like, or are we uh, No, I think we're gonna diamond jig. Okay. We'll, we'll just sit in one spot, drop it down to the bottom, bring it back up a few times, drop it down again. That's what we're gonna try doing today. All right, we'll do it. It'll be fun. He already made sure we knew we had cigars and pork. The cigars. alcohol and the cigars were good on it. The fishing is the fish, just yeah, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> something to do while we drink right, cigars. Right. And, uh, yeah, exactly. I drink the drink yeah. It was a little bit different feeling than cruising at seven knots on a sailboat. Are you quite the experienced fisherwoman? Uh, not really, no. I have, I have memories as a child of, of being fairly good at this, but we're gonna have to relearn it all over again. <laughs> yeah. I just m drink beer on a boat, that's, that's it. That, yeah. That's what works. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All the skills you need. Yeah. About 30 feet, how much line are we wanting to drop? 30 feet? <laughs> <laughs> give a couple of cranks and just give a couple of these. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at fishing. <laughs> it's because you're not good at being patient. <laughs> well, the fish weren't biting that day, but it was still a good day out on the water. Well, no fish. No fish. No Not fish. Us. We tried really no hard. Yes, yes, we no, did. We got an A for effort. We that's practiced our technique. We're prepared for next time. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's not what it's back. about, though. It's about yeah. hanging out, so. Yeah, catching breeze in your hair right. and yeah. having a beer and enjoying conversation. Yeah. We did that. We did all well. that. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, get cleaned up and go to dinner. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. So we'll have a wonderful sunset. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. this is going to be a good one. It's already started. I got so many good pictures. Northport is a great little sailing community in Long Island Sound, and we really enjoyed our time there. And of course, everyone at the Northport Yacht Club were excellent hosts. All right, 
I had had a good few nights here, but now it is time to keep on moving. You guys ready to go? Yeah, let's get sailing. Well, there's 6.6 .6 knots of wind right now. Uh, we'll see. All right. <laughs> Bring it out. Bring it out. I The plan for the day was to sail about 60 miles up Long Island Sound, getting ready to go to Block Island. Well, motoring today, uh, the wind is six knots. We're doing six and a half knots on the motor, so we got to set up to do a spinnaker. We're hoping to do a spinnaker. We're still going to hope for a little more breeze. Maybe later. Okay. I don't know. We're just going to go today until, I don't know. We're going to go until we get where we're going. Yeah, right? That is. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully the wind to pick up later, we can put the spinnaker up. we got a rig for it. I'll show you the... The rigging, she did a lot of it, or she did quite a bit of it, and uh, and I did a little bit, and I'm gonna show you how I've got it rigged. All right, so my spinnaker tack line goes the way it was before, um, the way I had it before, basically no changes there. The changes are up here, where it's attached to the bowsprit. Allie rigged this little strop right here, then I sewed a little end cap that fits around the bowsprit, and we got a lot of Dyneema. Hopefully that should hold it. So it's basically, the little strop is tied to both the end cap and the base of the bowsprit so it should not slide forward or backwards any and i put a bunch of layers of uh dyneema and all that stuff so it should be pretty good i'm actually having a little collar fabricated out of stainless steel that's going to be like bolted onto the bowsprit permanently i was a little worried about do i need to run new whisker stays out there like to the new collar I'm gonna try it without it because that's some really thick stainless steel. I think it can hold the tension, but that new collar is like 900 bucks. It's crazy because it's milled out of solid stainless steel and you know, it's gotta be perfect and all that. So uh, that, this is just a temporary fix until I get that. And then I've got a, uh, a top-down furling kit coming from Selden and hopefully uh, a, a spinnaker made by uh, Precision Sales and we'll get going. All right, we think we have good enough wind for the spinnaker, so we're gonna give it a shot. It might slow us down a little, but whatever, it'll be a better sail. So what are we doing? Uh, we're gonna launch the kite. Um, we, it goes up with a sock, uh, and so once it goes off, then we'll launch uh, we'll the sock and set it. where you want to make sure gloves because if this thing just starts going and that's one thing too if you're ever having a line just go let it go yeah. figure it out later seems to be doing pretty well up here if anything i could go a little further out with uh this drop there but uh i think it looks pretty good i i can adjust that later on all right, guys, so today is a special day. It's a, it's a, a remarkable milestone day. So... Oh, 300,000! Yes, 300,000. So to 300,000 subscribers, thank you guys for subscribing. If you're not, why aren't you? Come on. Watch your eyes. I'm just gonna let it shoot off. Go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it'll still taste good. <laughs> it's gonna taste great. Cheers. Good Cheers. job. 300,000 subscribers. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And uh, it's our patrons that make it possible. Thank you so much. Doing that on a moving boat right now. We're moving. Doing eight and a half knots. Oh, good. We had a decent amount of wind for a little bit, but that has changed. So now we're gonna pull down the spinnaker and probably motor in the rest of the way. I didn't put my safety on there last time. That's a no-no. Where are we at, Captain? No. <laughs> it just looked good on the chart. It looked like a good, nice little hook we can come around. Yeah, it's, right. it's really beautiful. 
How many feet do you let out on this one? Well, it depends on uh, how deep we are. I'm looking for my chain marks. Okay. Oh, well. I must have missed my 50 foot mark, so <laughs> I have my marks right here on the chain. So the two little plugs there go in there. Oh, okay. So that means 100 feet. I got one of those at, a, at 50 feet, and I got two of them at 100. So we're now we're at 100 feet, so we should be in about 20 feet of water. Oh, hopefully um, we don't beach. Yeah, no. <laughs> now then we get our snubber on here. Hook this onto the chain. So the snubber, basically, you don't want your chain pulling on your windlass all night, right? Because if it breaks or there's something lets loose, then you're spooling out and you're gone. The snubber, basically, is just a chain that goes on there and it connects to the boat. So now it takes up the slack on the, nice. on the chain. Smart. sharks on her oh phone. yeah i got a i got a really cool it's actually um shark tracker oh church i think is i'm not sure how you pronounce that but it's it's literally an application called shark tra shark tracker and it shows you know tagged sharks in the area and oh they're totally all in the south shore yeah, yeah they are we're fine so we're jumping we're in uh -huh. <laughs> so this is like the very tip of long island so like that over there is a long is the tip of long island and then plum island is right there it's about 30 some odd miles to block island tomorrow yeah so we'll get up early and go yes yeah. we will all Dawn right. Patrol. The water is manageable. It's a little bit chilly, but refreshing. The only thing is, it's dark. It's not like the Caribbean where you can see all the way to the bottom, so you're left to wonder what's beneath you. <laughs> and I don't know if I can do it. If she says it's refreshing, to me that means cold. So, that's a no. Well, I don't have shri shrivel problems, so... <laughs> well, you've got some kind of problems. <laughs> oh, don't we all? If you're enjoying the videos, it would really help us out if you would like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.